In this episode, we'll discuss the backend dashboard, which is a quick view of everything that's going on for that day, and the customer storefront, which allows customers to book and rent items online. In this episode, you'll see things that are going out today or being returned. You'll also see any recent transactions and new reservations as well. If you scroll down, you can view your daily rental count, which is how many items you have going out for the next seven days. This will allow you to adjust your schedule accordingly, so you'll know if you need to bring additional employees in, or if you're able to perhaps give an employee a day off. Another feature that is the customer storefront, which is the online rental portal customers use to make reservations anytime, anywhere. Features that come with this storefront include the ability to list items with photos and detailed descriptions, create kits, and process credit cards. If you click here to see full details, you'll see everything about the product you've rented. This page will also show your company's information to allow customers to see when you're open, location, etc. This is where you'll see quotes, reservations, whether an item is overbooked, future transactions, and more. Also, you can easily filter reservations, quotes, and orders, or even do a partial search if you don't remember the order number. You are able to easily click into a reservation to see details such as when the customer is coming to pick the item up, any outstanding charges from previous rentals, and much more. Now we'll move to sending out a reservation. So we will simply click Confirm Send Out. From here, we're going to email the customer. If you already have the customer's email in the system, then all you have to click is Send. Under the Accounting menu, you will be able to Set and Reconcile the Cash Drawer, set up integrated credit card processing, configure tax rates and jurisdictions, and change the way your accounting information gets exported to your accounting package. Next, we have account management, where you'll be able to manage things like employees, categories, locations, price sheets to automate your rental rates across the board, and day discounts. So if Wednesday is your slow day, you can choose to give everyone who rents on that day a discount. The configuration section is where we change most of the things that affect the way you and your customers use the product. The majority of settings are broken up into two pages. Company configuration, where you'll find all the settings that affect the back end, and front end configuration, which, you guessed it, is where you'll find settings that affect the online storefront. Last but not least, we have reports. Here you will find tons of different reports that will automatically work for you right out of the box. You'll see things like your potential future revenue, best sellers or rental items, overbook report, return on investment, maintenance reports, and many more. Best of all, you can easily email any of this information with the click of a single button. So someone calls in and says, hey, my name is Mike and I'd like to rent this item from you. First, we'll do a quick search to see if he is in the system. Since he isn't, we'll need to add him. Alternatively, if he had come to the store in person, we could have simply scanned his driver's license. At a minimum, we will probably want to fill in Mike's name, email, phone number, address, and company info. We can also use the advanced mode to add comments, enter additional information, and even add a discount that will automatically be applied to all of Mike's future transactions. Next, we'll begin filling out rental information, like how long Mike wants the item and when and where to deliver it. He may even say he wants the item delivered to one location and picked up from another. Now we need to actually add the item. We have two options, search for it manually or scan the item's barcode. You can also add any custom terms or special requests here. With the item added, we want to go ahead and turn this quote into a reservation by clicking on reservation and taking a payment. Mike says that he'll pay the full amount by credit card. The system will securely save the number so you can always charge him again later if he doesn't return your item. After accepting his payment, we can opt to email the reservation to Mike by clicking here. Lastly, we'll take a look at the pick list, which is what you give to your employees to expedite any prep work that needs to be done so we'll have the item ready when Mike arrives to pick it up. Within an items inventory, you have the ability to fill in information such as name, category, Tags, barcode, search by simply scanning a barcode, location, bin, description, specific contract terms for this item, internal notes for your employees, etc. Items can also be bulk or serialized if you want to keep track of which one was rented by which customer. Under stock for serialized items, 
we can now input more detailed information about the item. Model, serial number, meter reading, in hours or miles, and determine the condition, normal wear and tear, so that you know what condition it's currently in before it's rented. You can even track maintenance and ROI down to the individual stock record. The system also supports suggested and kit items. You can package your inventory into different types of kits and have the availability automatically calculated based on your stock on hand. You can also add suggested items to your rental or sales items to automatically prompt for upsell.